you have to understand those people in the house. So I'm just asking you to put yourself in that situation because technically you can say bad energy came through their door. They're minding their own business, then they're mm-hmm. in there. You are minding their own business, and it's come through the door. So that's why I'm asking you, putting yourself in their shoes. Like, if do you understand? Do you really look? Have case, you looked at it and said, if bad energy was really the case, that whole interaction would have looked different. Your boy just said. Your boy just said bad. No, energy. I'm talking about the video, the house oh, video. Okay. If bad energy was the case, that whole video would have looked different. They would have been panic and frantic. Literally, they were all calm. And because we mentioned the study group, like it's, it's the words I was saying as well. So they were thinking, oh, these guys are just lost. They were coming in for a study group. Yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Disarming words. You're saying disarming words to make the situation like... Not okay, but just less... Trying to, trying to less fr- make sure they don't come across as threatening. But you're but because you're in their home, that's why I'm just asking you, like, put yourself in. Mm. Come on. Yeah, come on. No, 100%. Uh, like, you you know, know what it is. Come on. We're black, my, yeah, we're black people, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Let's like, be real with man, it. Man, step in your yard. Man, bash your door and step in your yard. Let's be real. I get all the gimmicks, innit? Faces into the camera, all of this shit, hand movements, all that. I get it. It's going to bring you views. But at some point, we're men in it, so we have to be real. This is a this is a man conversation. Like, man conversation. He's with it. So you see what I'm saying? So yeah. we're just talking as men. Like, let's cut to the chase. So that's why I'm asking you. I'm just saying, like, I'm with you in it. Like, you're my son's your age, you're a black you. I want you to win. So I'm with you. Understand this. Mm. When I say mm. we're with 100%. you, like, like after this, if you just hit me up and say, Oh, I want to try and do this or whatever, like, we're with it. We're here for it. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, I watched you get persecuted in a way by the um by the media. I saw the setup with Piers and it pissed me off. You understand? Mm-hmm. It pissed me off because they obviously got you there just to stitch you up. You're thrown into the lamb like there ain't no preparation for that. You d- you ain't done no media training. You ain't gone to school for this. You know, you've you've done what you need to do and you've put yourself in a position and now they're trying to take advantage. So I'm saying on a real level, on a human level, that's why I was just asking you, like, just put yourself in their shoes. You've apologised. You've said that you're wrong for it. I just asked if you... Like, I just wanted you to just say, like, yeah, how you would do in that situation. Because I know how I would feel in that situation. You know how you would feel. That's, you know how you'd feel if... It depends. Are you talking about right now in my very predicament? If I was with my child, like, as an 18-year-old, and someone just walked into a house with a camera and that, I would, like, me, logically, I would look at it and see that someone's recording me. But if you're talking about in the future, I don't know. What, like, no, no, forget the, the future. Forget, so who if, knows if you're talking the future, about right, right saying, now... I'm just saying, if it happened to you... On a random day, three men just come through your door. Yeah, it would be a bit. It would be a bit. Yeah. That's all I'm. But obviously, I would uh, be like, "Why are you in the house?" First of all, like I'm just straight away, and then oh, what, yeah. from there, that's when it escalates or of de-escalates. Course. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's what I'm saying. It's just a human thing because with some of the things that's gone on with you, yeah, I think where people have been not for you, or is because people have put themselves in that in their shoes. If you probably watch the comments and that, people are like, mm-hmm. if it was my yard, if it was my yard, if it was my yard, you get That's it? That's the whole point of this whole show. It's all a game. As soon as you go on your phone, you're playing a game. As soon as you, as soon, as soon as you go like this and open your phone, you're essentially playing a game. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the moment it is. And then any, that's why I don't care about the hate comments or all of that. I just be chilling. I can come off my phone and enjoy the real life. Mm-hmm. Is that analogy? Ooh. Is that analogy? It's like Pac-Man, bro. It's like Pac-Man. I found this in your building. Can someone talk the camera so I can explain this? Is that okay? You, that I don't know how to do it. Yeah, say not. <coughs> Life is like a game of Pac-Man. We live in an illusion of free will where everything is already sought out before us. Like all of our choices, all of the jobs that are available, they're available to us at their discretion. We think that we've got choices in life. We're running from the ghosts, which is your death. Live in the moment. Right, that was some real spill. Are you banned from all social medias? Or just TikTok? I'm not banned from anywhere. Oh, you're not banned from none of them? You can I use social media? I don't use social media. Oh, you're done with it now? Yeah, it's just outsourcing now. Everyone just posts my videos. And I just be chilling on Twitter. Mizzy is banned. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. <laughs> and, I heard that you're charging for interviews and that now. Is that real? They paying you? Not necessarily. Only certain guys I would charge and only certain guys I wouldn't charge because I, I keep that. it real, innit? Real 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 yeah, real 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 I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I love that. And, uh, and, uh, and, That's and why we're should. here today. No, no. And we appreciate and we respect it. And, and you should charge certain people as well because it's... Bro, they're gonna they're gonna capitalize on capitalize. the size of you. There's a Mizzy experiment. Everyone, everyone that makes a video on Mizzy is part of the experiment, essentially. So what's the all right then? What's your what's your bigger plan for the experiment? 
essentially to change the youth essentially the whole way the mindset works because obviously our target audience is youth the younger generation love us i walk down the road younger people come up to me their parents even come up to me say i love what you do so we need to enforce a narrative that the youth need to change their ways and not be so sucked into the social media world and actually live in the real world example Take now, take Miz. So you're saying use you as example. As, so if man was you, so this is what it's done to you. Professor like. Skits experimented on Bakario Garo, and that's Mizzy. So was it There's you that told him to go into the yard? Tell me no, something. I wasn't there that day. <laughs> oh, so but tell me essentially Skits put it like this. That's what essentially put it like this. Good. Is it your concept? It's my concept, but it's your concept as well. Is it, is it's concept? inside. Man's it's inside. Of it's concept. inside of yeah, everyone. That's what he's talking about. It's opening your third eye. Yeah, but my third eye is open. Mm-hmm. Listen, we, we so then you can see through the illusion of everything which is this. set in place. He just he just made a, a rational decision among what he knows after and what altering the illusion his was, mind. That's why Literally. this blew up so much. Like, the that's Americans. why he like no, 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 the Americans, bro. Because essentially, they went to American side and everyone's like, it was me trespassing, I'll shoot you, this, that, and the other. That's essentially what happened. And I played under the UK laws, essentially. The UK laws are weak. I said it in Piers Morgan. I didn't well, mean it I just do, directly. I do, I can be real. Sorry to cut you. I do, I know you mean that. And I, and I do wish you would stop saying that, bro, because they will try and show you that their laws are strong. No, of course, 100%. Yeah. He's not like doubting the yeah, law yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He's not They'll doubting the law system. Like, yeah, He's yeah, just yeah, recognising yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's acknowledging it. He's acknowledging it. That's what I was about to do. I was just mentioning the Piers Morgan statement. Obviously, like, oh, you guys just opened my perspective of reality. Oh, my days. What was he talking about? He's acknowledging the law system. The law system, yeah. He's not saying it's weak. I'm acknowledging the law system, essentially. So basically, trespassing in the UK is a civil offence. Like, if you walk to the back of a shop, you can walk into a house, and you only get done for a civil offence, essentially. You won't even get arrested for it. They'll just tell you to leave. Mm. If you don't leave, that's when you can get arrested, and then it turns into a criminal offence, which is aggravated trespassing. Mm. And I'll essentially... For clarification, I'm not the one that told him to go into that house. (laughs) Hey, but ask me this before like we carry on. Yeah, you see, since all this has happened, is it now like you're saying you want to talk to the youth now? Is it now because you now got the platform? Is it like is it you're changing your perspective? Yeah. It's always been like, that. It's always, been, it always that, been that. It's always been that. It's, it's our friendship. You man had a podcast. We outside you know, started from a friendship. That you was doing in it. So the show you was doing was that before the actual walking through the door. Um, essentially, yeah. Yeah. Like literally, I stopped doing pranks for a good f- month before that one video. Then I said, no, oh, let me come back and do that one prank video. And then look, everything happens for a reason. Cause I wouldn't be here right now for everyone to be making videos on me, essentially. I did, like I said, I was watching them before. Yeah. I used to, I, it's not one or two I saw. Nah. I saw a few, bro. Nah. I don't know if you've seen before, but I saw, nah, I saw, I saw, I saw the riding through, ra- riding through Prime, places. Mark. That's it, say it again, say it again. Riding bikes in That's the one I used to see. And I used to <laughs> laugh. I used to laugh at that one and be like, this is mad, yeah. he's just doing whatever. Some of them I think are a bit far, but it's a shock factor thing. I get that. You you want to stand out in a world where everyone's trying to do something. That's essentially all it is. Everyone's chasing clout and money. That's what I was when I was younger. Then I came to a realization that it's not all about that. When? Last week? No, last month. This whole situation okay. has been going on. You asked us where we come from, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. And you asked us that for a reason. Mm-hmm. Where we come from, they don't want to see you shine for positive stuff. I was going to ask you that. They, they I'll be real, you wouldn't get on. You wouldn't be on these shows right for posi- for positivity. Mm. That's why I say to you, like, when they're putting you on these shows, they want you to play up. So don't you think now you're in position? You should be showing them the opposite That's of exactly that. Exactly what we're sh- doing. No, but hold on, hold on, hold on. But you should be showing them the opposite in the sense of like showing them that, like, both of you can speak. You're both intelligent. Yeah, I told you. Were you talking about what's, what's, nothing? Yeah, go on. Both of you can speak. You're both intelligent. You can both speak a certain kind of way. Don't you think you can show them that now? Now that you're on, you're on. You're on the platforms. You're in the mm. door. Don't get me wrong. Piers mm. Morgan was an ambush. But mm. you've had a little time now. Like, you can go in there. And sh- mm. See that speech you read? Um, first of all, that speech. Did you write that? 100% I wrote that. Respect to that. People yeah. were saying it's the Tate brothers in there. No, right. I even proved it. I literally showed the messages. That's why I wanted right. to ask you so it can be documented. Yeah, you wrote yeah, it yeah, yourself. Yeah. But um, don't you think you could be breaking them stereotypes by showing them, like, that's what, that's you lot thought we were, you lot thought we was one way, but we're not. We're another. I think you're in a position now where you don't need to be take, taking the woman's water from her and saying, "Oh, this is my water now." You could be showing them like what you think of us, black. But people. at the end of the day, it's all an act. Like if I was to just go in there and actually talk facts, it wouldn't go anywhere. No one would see it. No, but you you're got, there. You got, you got act. People are gonna see it. No, but they, it's still, it's still not, that's not how the thing, media. Because everybody saw the intelligent speech. Yeah, yeah. Because even my thing with the Pierce Morgan, uh, I think what was frustrating to watch it was the fact that. In a way, like you said, you played up to the stereotype, but in a sense, you had that big platform 
to maybe. Like, was it, what's oh, playing up to the stereotype? Nah, I literally just like, was literally myself. Just came you was yourself, out of prison but I mean, day. like you said, you was Mizzy, in it. So That's you, why I say I think with that one, because I give him. The, I say he, he literally was, got rushed from the got station rushed. to it there. Got rushed. Huh? Huh? He said the boy that cried wolf. Analogies. Do What's this analogy? guy talking about? He's trying to all a perspectives of reality. He's an yeah, anomaly, yeah. bro. Don't listen to him. Yeah, yeah. That's so, like, bad. basically, you see what, I'm, what my point is, right? And what I shall break it down is that. Talk to let's you. say the Pierce Morgan was the only interview that you had a chance to have ever done. Mm. 